Hi, my name is Crystal with Moonkin Stitchery and today I have a cute mini raw edge applique quilt called Lovely Bones. Lovely Bones is available as a free pattern on my website. The link for it will be down below in the description. So first off, you'll need to print out the template. Please triple check your printer settings before printing. Make sure it's at 100%. Do not scale to print. Most printers will try and scale the image before printing. So once printed, make sure the one inch square measures one inch with your quilt ruler. Then you'll want to carefully cut out the bone and heart shape out on the exterior bold line. For the inside of the rib piece, you may want to use smaller scissors, but please take your time. The rib cage applique can be quite a bit of a challenge just to cut it out. So once you've cut it out, iron on the heat and bond adhesive to the bone and heart print. As you can see, I am creating two mini quilts. One is some print scraps I have lying around. The other is a grunge fabric from Moda, which is reading more of a solid. But then on the back side, it does have the heat and bond. And go ahead and trace the bone paper template. Trace one half. And then you're going to flip the template over and you're going to trace the other half on the other side. So carefully do that. And as you can see, I've done that to both sides on my second piece. Then as you can see here, I have already cut out the heart shape from the scraps that I have lying around, but you are just going to repeat the same steps by just tracing the paper template on the side that has the heat and bond. Do not remove the heat and bond paper just yet. Do trace it either with a pen, pencil, some type of marking tool. And now we are just going to start cut, cutting everything out. Once again, uh, do take your time. Do not rush with this steps. The way you'll be cutting everything out now is how your edges will be in the final appearance of your mini quilt. So once again, take your time. I can't emphasize that enough because if you do create a wiggly line per se, when it's supposed to be a straight line, it will appear. So just do your best. Once again, carefully cut along the lines as best as possible. Then repeat going on ahead and start cutting out the bone rib cage shape out. Uh, don't forget you can use some smaller scissors to cut it out and also the negative space in between the ribs. That is also great to use some smaller scissors as well just to get those tiny little itty bitty pieces. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out the rib piece and as you can see I'm just it's taken me a little bit. I'm trying to get as precise as possible, going around the curves, hitting the point, and I'm just going to go ahead and make my way all the way around and cut both of these pieces out. Once you have all your pieces cut out, you'll then want to take your background 13 inch square and lay it out. You'll then measure one and a half inches away from the sides and the bottom. As you can see right here, one and a half inches. 
then you're going to go ahead and carefully pull the heat and bond paper off of the back of the bone piece and just carefully pull it out make sure you get all the pieces then place the applique directly in the middle you may want to measure all sides just to be sure that it is as centered as possible just like that and then I'm going to check the top and then the side and then you shift it over just a little bit and afterwards you're then going to take it to your ironing board and press it down with your iron uh, you'll just press it down melt the adhesive to your background fabric and as you can see I am over exaggerating with the iron just to show you that I am lifting it up before I iron down a new section so give it a good press to make sure it is all melted down then you'll take your heart piece and peel off the heat and bond backing and place it around this area like I have it just eyeball whatever you think looks best and then go ahead and give it a good press with your iron to make sure it is all glued to the background so just triple check make sure everything's all ironed down I like to wiggle it just okay we're all good now this can be optional but you can then go to your sewing machine now and stitch the edges down you'll just slowly go around the whole edge and then in between each rib piece as well as stitching down the heart now since I am doing two mini quilts I am going to show you one more time how to set your appliques down so once again measure one and a half inches away from the edges remove the heat and bond from the back side carefully and go ahead and place that in the center of the background fabric and then just go ahead and triple check the sides to make sure it is fully centered before you iron it down so I'm gonna go ahead and place this down shimmy it over I'm gonna check to make sure gonna measure my other size so I have one and a half inches and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the ironing board once again just go ahead and iron it press it down give it a nice good press be sure to lift your iron press lift press etc make sure you get all those little pieces down then you're gonna once again grab the heart piece of fabric and remove the backing off the heat and bond and then just once again just eyeball it wherever in place you would like it and then press that down as well there we go give it one last press make sure it's all glued down just finishing it up and there we have it now for this mini quilt I went ahead and created a quilt sandwich already and started quilting the mini quilt out I went ahead and did some custom quilting for these so please stay tuned because the next video I will have out will be an in-depth video on how I quilted each quilt both of them are different and after that I went ahead and then pulled it off my machine and now I am now stitching the applique edges down I could have done this on my longer machine but sometimes I do feel it's easier especially when it is a mini quilt if it was larger I would have done this at the longer machine before taking it off the frame now there are a lot of start and stops on the lovely bones mini quilts so you can just do a travel stitch so there are no start and stops but that preference is up to you do whatever you are most comfortable with as you can see I kind of traveled there a little bit and I'm going around and I stopped and now I'm gonna restart again and go all the way around and stop go all the way around so I'm gonna be doing this to each little piece you don't have to you can make it continuous you can fill it in but I did it this way because I've already created a quilt sandwich so whatever I'm quilting now it will also appear on the back where if you would have applicated it down before you made your quilt sandwich 
this would not be showing on the back of the quilt unless you repeated the steps again. So instead of repeating steps, I just do it once and hopefully one and done. And that way you'll also see it on the front and back. And then now I know for sure my applique won't peel off over time and it's all nice and stitched down. Now, as you can see, I've also been trying to get as close as possible to the edge. That way, there's not a whole lot of fraying, but it will fray. Lastly, you will want to trim off the excess fabric from your quilt sandwich and go ahead and square your quilt up to a 13 inch square. So as you can see, I'm just lining it up. I'm gonna trim off the excess and I'm gonna keep doing this all around. Now, although I have written this pattern out for a mini quilt, please feel free to make more blocks so you can create a table runner, pillowcase, a larger quilt, whatever you would like to create. The link for this will be down below in the description. And all you have to do is then add some binding to complete your mini quilt and there you go. Here are two mini Lovely Bone quilts I've created. So please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the next video for how I quilted this quilt comes out. Thank you. <laughs>